Hello, Facebook friends. I am your Klutz in the Kitchen, Ellen Goldfinch, and I am going to show you how to make a cast iron, no knead bread. Now, the first thing you've got to do is make sure that all your jewelry is removed. Well, not, okay, I'll hide the necklace. And you're going to need a scale, a kitchen scale, and a bowl, and, um, the amazing thing about, that I just learned about this kitchen scale is that I can do a tearing. So I can put my bowl on top of the scale. Trust me, I'm doing that just now. And I can weigh the bowl. And then I can press the zero button. And lo and behold, I can add my measurements all in and everything will be accurate and fine. Now what you're seeing here are two cups of whole wheat flour or 240 grams, two cups of, I use bread flour, it, so that's about 261 grams, two teaspoons of salt, that's um, uh, like a kosher salt, I use sea salt, it works. Um, one teaspoon of dry active yeast, which is kind of on the left side, I believe, of your screen. And, and I use bread machine yeast. And uh, um, the, the recipe that I sent out on Facebook calls for sunflower seeds and flax seeds. Richard and I aren't too into that. So um, I've thrown in this 10 grain mixture. It works just fine and tastes great. So I mixed this up for exactly one minute to be sure that uh, it's thoroughly mixed. I used a timer. And now I'm going to pour in two and a quarter cups of water, which according to the internet is somewhere around 532 grams. So I am now going to make the stickiest dough that you can imagine. So I'm pouring the water in now and I'm going to stir this around. And because it's so disgusting, I'm turning off the phone for a minute so that I don't get it all sticky. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a liquidy, doughy mess. Now, the recipe says to cover it in saran wrap, but what I found was I had this nifty glass uh, lid that just covers it perfectly, I take it and put it in a safe place where it's not drafty and I put it in my microwave. So here I'm going to the microwave and I'm putting it in. And there it must sit. Now the recipe says 12 to 14, uh, 18 hours, I believe, 12 to 18 hours. So I tend to go for the full 18, and that is part one. We will take this up next time. This is Ellen Goldfinch in the Klutzy Kitchen. Have a great day.